Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald. Today we're going to look at a simple flat style bokeh. Now, what do I mean by flat style? Well, when I first started in floristry, that was the norm for a gift bokeh. And it really was similar to like a sheaf of flowers. It could go over the arm and it was a flat presentation. So when you went into a shop and you ordered some flowers or you were selecting some flowers, they would basically make it up there in name. And it's just a selection of flowers that lie in a flat direction, but it is similar to the hand tie because the technique that we're gonna use is still a spiral technique. So I've got a range of different flowers for our video today, uh, and also some foliage as well. So let's have a little look. We've got some Ruscus, we've got some Ming Fern, we've got a little bit of Ivy, and what's quite nice about this mature Ivy is it's gonna give us a little bit of volume. We've also got a little bit of interest from the, the berries as well. Piece of fatsia, that's going to give us a great backing. And flower-wise, I've got some nice little Santini croissants. So I'm just really going to lay everything out and we can just see what we've got. But also it's an opportunity to check for any broken stems, uh, remove any leaves. I've got these beautiful germinis that I just love the colour. A little bit of limonium, a little bit of wax flower. So these are really our filler flowers. I've got five beautiful old-fashioned carnations. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I love this style of carnation with the fleck uh, or with the, the edge. It's such a kind of old-fashioned vintage look. I love it. It was a carnation that was kind of available when I first started working with flowers and uh, I just think it's quite classy and quite traditional. So we're gonna clear a wee space and we can really use our tabletop for working. So that's also a good thing. And just like when you're using, making a hand tie, we're gonna use your left hand or one of your hands basically as like a loose uh, vase. So essentially it's gonna hold things together, but don't hold things tightly because you're just gonna get tired. So we'll put our fatsy at the back to give us a little bit of support at the back. We can add our filler material is quite nice. Uh, I am going to pop in our uh, ivy just now and then we can really add our flowers. So actually you can slot them in and you can come in one side, the other side. So work in a methodical way. So if you want to come to the front then go from left to right. If you want to go to the back then go from right to left. So basically one's going to go over, one's going to go under. And we're just wanting to lay these out to their best advantage. Uh, so essentially that's what the flat bokeh did, was it, it put flowers together uh, and then it was up to the customer what they wanted to do. Do they want to leave it as a bokeh or do they want to split it down and make their own arrangement, make their own combination or vase? Uh, the choice is really with the customer. So back when I first started, these were made, they were wrapped in a lot of cellophane with big bows and uh, you would see them that people had put them in their window to kind of show off to the neighbours that they'd got a bouquet of flowers and they hadn't taken it to bits at all. But as long as everything is going through this tie point, as long as the tie point is in the water, then everything will be quite happy. So really, I'm just staggering these so that you can really see everything. So we can see our beautiful gerberas, our nice carnations are giving us like our value for money. And we're keeping this nice and clean. So down here, I'm just gonna finish it off really with our Ming Fern and our little bit of Ruscus. So what we're looking to achieve really is uh, interest through texture, changes in size of flowers, uh, the combination of colours. So like the limonium and the wax flower really give that contrast in flower size. Uh, but just spread things out as well. So things are really going to be kind of staggered. So you'd have like one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's a good kind of way to think of it if you're putting one together. So this is also very similar to how you would make a sheaf of flowers for, say, a funeral. So again, that's another traditional item. And we're just going to tie this off with some good strong twine. 
Just go around it a couple of times and tie it. My twine is not really a floristry twine. It's got lots of little fibers come off it. But the good thing about it is it's biodegradable because it's jute. Uh, so if this was being left and then ultimately goes in the bin, it can just actually go straight in the compost heap and you don't have to worry about it. So this is our bouquet. Uh, we've got it tied, we've got our nice stems, and really when you're cutting these, you're wanting to leave as much length as possible. So that is all the cutting I would do. And really, like with a sheaf, you would have like about a third of stem to two thirds of flowers. It gives you a nice visual balance. We'll just get rid of these little bits. If you are going to wrap something like this, then what you want to do is get rid of any little bits because they'll ultimately cause a little bit of a problem. So we're going to just wrap this in some cellophane. It's a good idea if you're using cellophane to have a pair of scissors that are specifically for cellophane. Um, the ones that you use for flowers, they do get blunt and they cause that you won't get such a good cut. So this is really a traditional uh, flat bokeh. Now you can do it as well with um, clear cellophane and have like a cover over the front is possible. I'm just going to use some twine just to finish this off. But depending on your flowers you can add a bow to complement it and to match it. Now if it's going to be travelling you might want to tape this. Personally, I like less tape, less uh, staples. Really, if you were giving this as a gift, for people to just untie that and it's complete, that's better. Rather than there's a whole load of tape sticking it up and uh, it just becomes a bit of a, a hassle to get it out of the packaging. That's not so good. The other good thing as well is if you're not covering the packaging with tape, you can then reuse it for something else, which is really good as well. So there we go. This is... A flat style bouquet which gives a beautiful selection of flowers in a very natural way um, and is ideal gift for someone and less formal than some big bouquet or some of the hand tied bouquets as well. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. We've got new videos every week and we'd love you to join us for our future designs. If you haven't already subscribed we'd really appreciate it if you click to subscribe. If you tap the bell you get notifications of our new designs. And uh, if you've enjoyed today's content, then why not have a look in our description of our video for the link to another video, which was one of our other designs that you might enjoy as well. So until our next time, take care and we'll see you soon.